pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América, de la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, con libertad y justicia para todos. Una de las banderas de Texas. Te prometo lealtad a Texas, un estado bajo Dios, un y indivisible. Today for lunch, you have a choice of cinnamon French toast and scrambled eggs, seasoned beef quesadilla or tuna salad power pack, and your vegetable is steamed corn. Happy birthday to anybody celebrating a birthday today. Have a good one! for my teachers and my family and my friends. What are you thankful for? Bye. Hi everyone, today is Thursday and that means it's the day we talk about what we are reading. I am on Sora right now, which is our online digital library, and there is a collection that has been put together to celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which is a great month. The month of May is where we celebrate all of the contributions of Asian Americans and those of Pacific Island descent. This book collection has a lot of really, really great titles by fabulous authors, some you've probably heard of and some you probably haven't. So we have a lot of books by Grace Lynn and we have Min Lee. I really love Drawn Together and I can't wait to read Lift. I haven't read it yet. And then you'll recognize this one, Eyes That Kiss in the Corner. And you can just keep going. There's over a hundred books here, but I wanted to tell you about what I'm reading and the reason that I chose it. Um, one of my favorite local authors is Christine Soontornvat, and she has this book that just came out recently called All 13. And it is the true story of the boys who were stuck in the cave in Thailand. So it's about how they were rescued, the soccer team, and how it was rescued. The reason that I'm reading this, besides that I like this author and I love true stories, is because Mrs. Victor told me that she read it and she thought it was amazing. So that moved it to the top of my to be read stack and I was really excited that it was available on Sora today. So I want to know what you're reading. If you see me in the hallway or online, I want you to tell me what book are you reading that you're really excited about right now. Have a happy Thursday. Okay, so hello, Miss Munson. I um, this is, has been a great this has been a great year with you, and um, I love you so much. And you are a great teacher, great second grade teacher. 
and you are the best. Even with these masks on and COVID around, you can do and you're doing your best and you're doing it good. And so this is my message to Miss Munson. Goodbye. And I love you. Hey Eagles, it's Coach Rapke. I'm here to explain our Field Day Thursday, Field Day Friday. Today we're going to do lots of different tossing and throwing stations. So teachers, if you want to be prepared before you come down here, you can go ahead and split your class up into five groups because we've got five different stations. I'm going to take y'all through each station right now. All right, our first station is the football throw. Overhand throw, there's two different spots you can stand. You're gonna stand on the yellow dot. With the arrow, you've got several different footballs. You are trying to see how many you can get into the targets. So, station number one, football throw. Okay, station number two, we're gonna be practicing our underhand throw in a little game called cornhole. So, you are gonna come over, you are going to throw individually you will find another yellow dot. You have several different bean bags, and you are going to practice your underhand throw. See how many you can get into the hole for cornhole. Station number two, underhand throw at cornhole. Station number three probably looks familiar for those of you that came out last week. This is around the world in basketball again. However, I have lowered the goal to eight foot, so maybe we can Make a few more baskets this time. So station number three, around the world basketball. Station number four is tossing a Frisbee. You have two different types of Frisbee toss. One, you're trying to toss it into the disc toss bucket. One, you are trying to toss it and knock down the water bottle. For those of you that haven't thrown or tossed a Frisbee in a while, remember we say tummy, toss. So you bring your Frisbee to your tummy and then you toss it. Station number four is the Frisbee toss. And station number five, if you need it teachers because of numbers, is just Legos at half court. So if you need to have a fifth station because of the numbers of kiddos in your class, then they can just come and be as creative as they can with the Legos. Station number five, Legos. All right, Eagles. I hope you have fun on Field Day Thursday, Field Day Friday. Make it a good one. Hi Grandview, I wanted to give you an update on how we're doing on our Mason Book Drive. You can see we are almost at our goal. The wonderful thing about this book drive is that the word is spreading and a new group of people found out about it and that's why we are now at 91 books donated to Mason Elementary, only nine books away from our goal. So keep spreading the word, keep telling people about how we're trying to help Mason rebuild and restock their library. We are almost there. Way to go, guys.